Welcome back, guys. Episode 46 of Stop Talk and Roll, your number one place for jujitsu rolling analysis. Boom. Took me all week. I hope that's a good one. We'll just keep working on it. I'll get a little tagline. Let me know if you have a good tagline. Hit me up in the comments. I'd appreciate that. Let me know if you like this ticker. It's been here all week. Okay? Maybe it won't be here next week. Maybe it'll be a different color. Maybe it'll be a different contrast. Maybe it just won't be here at all. I don't know. It covers up when I move my mouse in the previous videos. It used to, you know, you used to see my little like thing at the bottom. Now you don't see it. A little, little cleaner. Little things here and there. A little quality of life in these videos. Um, and with all this positivity, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Ring that notification bell. I get these videos out every morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Saturday. I need some more videos, guys. If you would like me to review your video, send me a submission. You can look at the information in that ticker. Whoa. That's the ticker. Take that. It's in the description below. Um, and uh, yeah, I'd love to review. Gi, no gi. I don't care what you have. Today, uh, I have, they're already at it. Um, Dean is on top. Jeff is on bottom. Um, different Jeff, not our uh, head instructor Jeff, but uh, visiting Jeff from, uh, actually, I don't know where he's at anymore, but it's Jeff. Um this isn't the best angle because uh, I was rolling along uh, as well. So um, we might be skipping a little bit. I think um, some people kind of get in the way. I don't even think Dean and Jeff knew I was filming them. I just threw the camera up. Let me know if this is okay. It's obviously not to the same level as the rest of the videos, but sometimes this is kind of my only option, um, especially if I'm trying to get some rounds in myself. Um, and also it's good feedback for people that are submitting videos. Like if this is a good angle for people, that's great. If this is not a good angle, you know, maybe, you know, I can help. I can make a video one day of like, okay, static video placement for video submissions as we get them in, um, with lighting in mind and whatnot. So yeah. Okay. Enough talking. Let's go. So right away we are in a, looks like a pretty heavy knee slice position from Dean on top here, uh, and a half guard. So let's see what he does. I like to turn onto my hip here, but I know Dean likes to smother when he passes. So let's see. Jeff, I don't know about that hand on top. I think I like to dig my hand. Not I think. I like to dig my hand a little bit more underneath. We might have to skip for these guys a little bit as Q and Chris get in the picture here. Um, but yeah, that's good, Dean. Tripod. So Dean's tripoding up. Get to a butterfly mount. So he's keeping this arm up really high here. And gets the mount. Nice. Comes over. So you can look to either head and arm choke here or a triangle. Yeah, it looks like a triangle. He sits back, throws over the leg. I don't really have much to say. It's a textbook. Do you not get it? Let's see, we're going underneath. Yep. Jeff's doing a good job staying really uh, parallel with Dean right now. Dean looks. Dean wants to cut an angle and get perpendicular, um, but Jeff is doing a phenomenal job staying parallel. Yep, dig under. This is like a live commentary. I haven't done one of these before. Yep, and that should be it. Yeah. Okay. This is really nice. Um, that was quite textbook. Let's bring that back to right before the mount. Okay. So this is guys, this is, this is why, this is why grips in general are important. Gi, no gi. Dean sets this up literally all the way back from the start of the video and he gets the finish at, what was it? 143 at 140 so that that who knows when this started but this was a this was a while in the making here okay so when he's able to finally get to mount here yeah this whole thing is just about keeping his elbow keeping jeff's elbow above his head here uh jeff <laughs> it's a tough situation um, I'd look to try to get your hands back together. Yeah. And then here, it's just tough. It's like one of those, like, don't get caught in it situations. It's like inevitable all the way back there. We 
You dropping jewelry over here? These guys are all getting cauliflower here. Like all of them. All right. What are we talking here? Let's go. Okay. You guys should talk and be respectful. I'm just, you know, for purposes of training. So Dean plays a very similar game to me sitting up, which is shin to shin. Although he likes to reinforce the shin to shin with his back leg. Um, I don't personally do that, but it works. So right here, depending on what Jeff does, Dean can Dean has several options here. He's already primed to kick him this way, so I'm going to say that Dean probably elects to do that. Even though Jeff is turning this way, it's it's not hard at this point for Jeff to just kick. I mean, I'm sorry, for Dean to kick this leg out and for, um, for him to lace this leg through as well. Yeah. So puts him into diagonal Ashi. He's looking to connect this to collect the secondary leg. Dean likes to do a move called the Z lock, which is that what he's doing? Yep, that's a Z lock. Gets the tap. That is a hip lock. Um, I'd break that down if we had a better angle. I'm gonna get Dean on here soon. Uh, he has he and I have a round where I want to have him on because he completely murders me from back, and uh, I want to get him on to talk about what he was doing. So, um, but he keeps, you know, disappearing every weekend. I don't know. He has like family or something. Anyway, um, I'll get him on soon. We can go over that. Then maybe we can get him to show a Z lock for the channel. I also need to get Q on at some point. He's been on, he's got a death Kimura. So, Jeff, I would get this arm up, defending your head. Yeah, like the second you see you feel him start doing this, instead of leaving your arm out, I would look to rotate your elbow like in like this and bring it in tight and close the space between your elbow and your kind of like in this pocket right here. Because he just keeps going under, and he's going to drive this arm again. I don't even know what happens. I obviously didn't watch this round. I'm, I'm rolling over here, so I have not seen this. Yeah, but I, I, I'm assuming the same thing's going to happen now. He's already in here. Like Once he's in here, it's going to be very difficult to deal with. Okay, he likes to go for the leg. Looks like diagonal Ashi again. A little hard to see. Grabs a secondary leg. Z lock again. Mm, the knee's free. No, it's not. Mm. Oh, what up, Q? Oh, Jeff. Escaped. Did they reset? Oh, there was some kind of submission. That's okay. Jeff, go forward. So, same thing. Dean's got a sick guard, but if you keep a disciplined, relentless forward pace, um, that's that's pro. I mean, it's. What I found that I'm not, and when I say forward, it doesn't mean like blitzing, like sprinting past to trying to sprint past his guard, but just going forward and attacking. Um, worst case scenario, you get swept, you get leg locked, uh, but you learn from those experiences. If you hang back like this, you're not going to learn, right? He's just going to pull you into what he wants, and you're going to be like, "What the hell is he doing?" Just go forward, right? Eventually, you're going to find you know issues. Put him on his back. Nice, good, good. Nice. Uh, I would look to north-south. So when you don't have control of his head and you get around him, it's hard to maintain like a side control or anything. So I would honestly look to take this arm, dive it in, like get your hand placement just right here, and then you can lead with your whole arm. If you get your hand in, the rest of the arm can follow, right? So you just place that in there and punch through. 
Guys, you see Q's foot's in the way, but you see how Dean closes this space down, right? So he doesn't let you get in here. That space is completely closed down. Okay, you go to wrap up on top. Uh, Chris is hitting on some kind of leg entanglement. Oh no, you guys are blocking. Uh, I think we're losing the round. Sorry guys, this isn't ideal. Here we go. Buggy choke Q, buggy choke Q. Okay, we sit, oh my God, this is down. This might be done. Oh, the round's over. All right, well, guys, not not the not the best uh, not the best footage here. I apologize for that. Um, something I'm going to work on in the future. Maybe I'll find a different spot in the gym to put it. Maybe I'll uh, talk with uh, Jeff, other Jeff, our our uh, gym owner Jeff, and we can find a a spot to hang it. I know I know a lot of guys use this little thing right here, so maybe I'll try that in the future. Um, maybe that'll work for us a little better. Um, yeah. All right. Thanks for checking it out. I uh, hope you enjoyed the channel. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you like. Think about it. Honestly, I mean, it's it's I'm not delusional. That this obviously isn't better than, you know, <laughs> me walking around with the gimbal and the perfect angles and everything. But, uh, you know, just trying to find an alternative so I can make sure I get my rounds in, too. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, have a lovely day. Bye.